baby shark. So, I was swimming from Joppa to Tarshish the other day when I bumped into Dave. He's a really big fish. So big, he started operating an Airbnb in his belly. Wow. He's what they call a super host. So, I asked him, have you got any guests there at the moment? And he said... Oh, oh yes. I've had a three-day and nighter, but his stay's nearly over. Oh, they're so annoying. Why don't they just stay for a week? This one is a human. What? That's crazy. Apparently, Dave said, the storm had thrown this man into the sea and God commanded Dave to swallow him whole. That's crazy. God gave him a special mission. But this guy tried running in the opposite direction. That doesn't sound like a very good idea to me. And we were just coming up to a beach and I was just about to ask what this man looked like when... Dave just sipped him up onto the beach and he was covered in all this fish goo. But the funny thing is, he looked happy. Well, I guess he was happy that he was no longer in a really scary storm or facing certain death in the sea or inside a gross fish's belly. But I tell you what, he looks like a man on a mission now. In Jonah 2, verse 2, it says, I called to the Lord and he answered me. It doesn't matter what you've done or what's happening in your life. God is waiting to reach in and answer you. You might not be in the belly of a big fish, but you might be having some challenges at home or with school, or maybe everything that's going on is getting you down and making you feel a bit anxious. God wants to be part of what is happening in your life. With Jonah, he ran away. Maybe that's you too. Maybe at the moment you feel like you've run away and you're distant and far from God. But all he wants is to reach in and grab and help you come back into his heart because God is with you no matter the storm, no matter the challenge and no matter the size of the fish. So here's your challenge. We've been learning about Jonah for quite a few weeks now so why don't you recreate your own version of it? Maybe you could make a storybook with pictures or you could do a dance or write a song or do a music video, whatever you like but we want to see them so upload them onto our Facebook page. We love you guys, we miss you and we can't wait to see you. Bye! We have so many things going on here at New Life for the Kids. You can join us in our weekly Zoom meetings after the Sunday service, or you can go and check our Facebook page where you guys have been uploading so many cool things. Also, you can go and catch up on our old object lessons in our New Life YouTube channel. And if you want more information, feel free to email us at kids at newlifechurch.me.